everybody loves the new quadcopter frame. So today let's take a look at the Halo RC Archon V3 and see how it's built, how it assembled and how it looks like. Uh, there is no instruction manual, but come on, we've built so many frames that I suppose we can do it without any instruction manual. After all, we are experts, right? Two battery straps, nice, and I wonder if they are long enough for the six... Yes, they should be long enough for the 6S LiPos because the older battery straps that were fine for 4S does not really work great with the 6S. We have arms, we have a lot of elements with the sunken uh, nuts, and well... Let's see what goes where. The arms come in the 5mm thickness, which is nice, should be super stiff and super nice arms, with relatively small area, that means that, well, definitely this goes well with the 4-in-1 ESCs, but nobody right now flies with the separate ESC, so, uh, okay. The carbon cutting is nice quality. I like how everything is done. The elements are not beveled, but I think they were at least tumbled uh, after cutting because the cutting areas are smooth. And you see a nice touch. There is a bevel over here, over the holes. I'm not sure if you will be able to see it. So the um, screws should be flat with the surface of this element, which is cool. If you look carefully, you will see that this part of the arm is cut. So the part in the middle that connects to the third screw that connects two arms on the front or the back uh, is held only by the true screws. And some kind of the element, oh, probably something like this, comes, you see, as the part of the joint and should nicely connect everything together. That's the very interesting choice of how the arms should be held together and well definitely increases the price because not only you have to cut the carbon but also remove this piece of the carbon and make those two and a half d cuts over here but nicely should improve the stiffness and the durability of the frame at least i hope so As you can see, everything is cut with the very tight tolerances and actually you kinda have to tap the carbon while you put the screws through the arms. And this makes the assembly maybe slightly more complicated and time consuming, but it has a huge advantage. Nothing will be loose when you will finish the assembly and the arms definitely will be held tightly in, sp in place. And definitely, it's better to have a tight frame than the loose one, okay? Arms are in place. I think now it's time to connect the front section with this stiffening part and the rear section. Now it all starts to make sense. So this thing goes like this. And this, which is the rear section of the frame, will go like this. Also, the bottom plate of the frame is kind of traditional because this is just a solid with the hole inside, of course, the piece of the carbon. The middle, the stiffening plate, is something like a hybrid because the main stiffening part is this 2.5D milled carbon, thick carbon, because this is five millimeters just like the arms but this is not something to which uh, you have a plate this is just a bar and to this element you have connected this small element which is the front section and this thinner element that is the rear section that means that uh, the the part that's most responsible for the stiffness is super thick but the parts that only are the place to put some accessories are relatively thin. And now this will go on top of this exactly like expected. Yup, 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 yup. And the third screw on the back and on the front will connect everything tightly together.
Now the standoffs. Front section reinforce. Now it's time for the top plate. And the top plate goes like this. Remember I told you about those sunken screws over here. There is a special set of flathead screws that mount the middle section. And finally two screws in the front and two screws in the back. Behold the Halo RC Aircon V3. Just like I expected, there are absolutely no loose arms. Arms are perfectly in place. The frame is kind of bendable if you do it diagonal, but still comparing to the amount of the carbon inside and the total weight, it, I think it's kind of acceptable. This is still inside of the, well, probably more than average stiffness of the frame comparing to the lightness. And... And what? I think this is ready to be assembled. Of course, there is a place for 20 by 20 stack over here. You see there are both holes for 20 by 20 and 30 and a half and a 30 and a half. And the space inside between the decks is 20 millimeters. So you should fit no problem most of the modern stacks. However, because this is high end frame, you have to be prepared that well. You have to will ha you will have to make this thing relatively tight. And in the back, we should have enough space for the analog VTX. And I'm pretty sure it also should accept the Cadix Vista. Yeah, definitely. There are 20 by 20 holes over here in the back that should accept the Cadix Vista and 19 millimeter wide camera in the front. So this is your Halo RC Archon V3. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and happy flying.